Well, I hope you've seen internet. My name is Kevin and welcome back to another video. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a book review of a book that I recently finished and that is All of the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And if you don't know what this book is about, this book is about a boy named Theodore Finch and a girl named Violet and they meet on top of the school bell tower. And basically, Violet is coming to terms with her sister's death in an accident that happened and she's still trying to process this and grieve over it. While Theodore, or Finch as he's called in the book, is suffering with depression and suicidal thought. Basically they manage to help each other and with what they're dealing with. And I don't know if they would say that this book is a trigger warning for like depression or mental illnesses. Um, I don't know if it is a trigger warning but I would definitely say that it's worth knowing that before you read the book just in case you suffer with it and it's just something you don't want to read about. This book was absolutely beautiful guys. I loved it so 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 much. I read it so quick and it was just such a beautiful book and Jennifer Niven's writing was just absolutely amazing. Her characters, I instantly fell in love with Finch because of his humour and Violet you just felt bad for her and sorry for her and you're just hoping for her to like get better and over this uh, death of her sister. Yes, so since finishing this book I cannot stop thinking about it. It is constantly just playing on my mind. It's just that's like you know you've read a really good book when you just cannot stop thinking about it and I definitely cannot stop thinking about this book. So in this book they get assigned a school project and for this project they have to go explore these different areas in their state where they're either a unique place or unusual place or just somewhere that no one tends to go to that is like a hidden gem kind of thing and they have to just document their experience when they go to this place and it just makes you think that you need to go out there and explore where you actually live and there is places that like people don't talk about that are just hidden and that you don't need to travel so far to go to like such an amazing place or just to see something that it might actually be where you live and it's just it's just such an inspiring book in that sense and I just, I honestly just cannot stop thinking about this book and I love it so much. So as I said, I love Theodore because his character of Finch is just such a likeable, funny character and his humour is just so, so funny and his one-liners throughout the book are just hilarious and will make you laugh. And then we have Violet who is the kind of the popular girl but she's kind of like gone quiet since this uh, accident with her sister. And so we're basically just trying to get her back on her like, road to being her normal self again. And yeah, the character development for both characters throughout this book is just like one of the best character developments I've read in a book in a long, long time. Okay, so Finch, as I was saying earlier, Finch is suffering with um, depression and suicidal thoughts. And so he basically had like a really hard childhood or family upbringing. His parents got divorced and all that kind of stuff and his father uh, abused him and it's just something that made him question stuff and question where he was living and why he was having these depressions and feeling in this way and there is a quote in this book that I think is absolutely amazing. I cannot remember it exactly but I'm pretty sure it goes somewhere along the lines of that in his own experience, um, people tend to be a lot more sympathetic when they can see that you are physically hurting. So if you have a disease like smallpox or something like that, but no one is that sympathetic when it's something psychological or just mental illness. And just in my own lived experience, I think that mental illness is something that is just as serious, if not even more serious than a physical illness because it is so hard for someone to just be quiet about something and it's hard to reach out to someone and it's just something that's just as bad as a physical illness in my opinion which is very similar to what the quote is trying to say and there's a quote in here about uh, them going to all these different places and it's like that you don't remember the day you remember the moments and it's just something as well that's a really inspiring quote because you're not going to remember every single day you're going to remember the happy moments and to make sure you go out and get those happy moments so yeah this book is just so beautiful it made me cry and not many books have actually made me cry so 
this book has so it's definitely gonna stick with me for a very long time and I don't even think I said how much I rated this but I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars in case you couldn't tell and I just really love this book. I think if you haven't read it, you should definitely go pick it up because it is such an amazing book. So that is basically it for this video, guys. Let me know down below if you have read All of the Bright Places and if you have, let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't and you're thinking about picking it up, I'd love to know that too because I definitely think you should go pick it up because I would highly recommend it. And other than that, I will see you all day for my next video. So bye, guys.